Yeah, CDTV's meet, uh, meet for you. You know, a lot of history. It's a great place to play. One word to describe CBGB's would be historic. It's probably the most famous club in the uh, U.S. The dude who owns it, Muzzy Rosenblatt, he feels that CBGB's isn't really giving to the community and it's not paying what it should pay for this property. I heard that um, you know, their lease is up and they wanted to raise the rent and the rent was significantly more money. The people that are going to come into the neighborhood, they don't like punk. Come on. They don't like punk. Okay? Well, I think, I think there's actually two things to CBGB. There's the commercial aspect of CBGB's, which is like all those movie stars you see wearing the t-shirts that say CBGB's on it that have never been here. And then there's actually coming here and playing here and being a part of the environment and stepping in the beer and smelling the piss. And, and the bathrooms are amazing. There's no doors on the bathroom. There's no walls separating. And if you have to take a you're really out of luck here. <laughs> You walk around the streets now, you see CBGB shirts, and you know you want to go up to somebody and go, do you know what that means? Like, you wonder if it's just a brand or do people really understand that it really means something for a lot of people and it was a place that saved lives. CBGB's has been open for more than 30 years. They play seven bands a night, seven days a week, sometimes even more. And that's what CBGB's is about. It's about the 50 bands that play there every week learning how to get better. You know, there's been a lot of talk about all the bands that came out of CBGB's who were famous, but they weren't famous when they started playing there. In fact, most of them were pretty bad. Uh, the most well-known, of course, is the Ramones, who inspired and ignited a whole punk rock movement in England. I think the Ramones really didn't kick in until they decided to play without stopping. They were short songs at high volume, high energy, and the only thing in between was one, two, three, four, and they kept going. And it was uh, so intense that people got off on it, and so people started finally coming to see them. The point of CBGB's is that they let bad bands play. They let bands play who never played before, and they let bands learn how to play. Television, Patti Smith, Talking Heads, Blondie, each one was doing their own thing, a, a Mink DeVille. Uh, the Shirts, the Dead Boys, the, each one was unlike the other, they were themselves. All the groups here that started were not accepted by the mainstream at first. They were really rejected. I think sometimes the rejection and their insistence on playing contributes to the success that they have talent. Well, certainly a lot of the bands that started playing at CBGs uh, went on to influence people around the world. The idea that you can go in there and be um, an amateur and someone hashing out new material that's original and not be worrying about record companies or stuff like that, to have a place that you can kind of go and, and be that terrible in front of your friends till you become great. I think it represents like opportunity, man, you know? It's like all these bands started in the same thing, everyone sweats on the same stage and it's like you come to this giant city and you come up here and you sweat and you see what happens. I think it's pretty cool to play at CB's because I think you sort of feel the history that's there. They have a good sound system, which is kind of rare nowadays in New York, I've noticed. You know, there's just so much history there. You know, stuff that, you know, things written on the wall, everybody's, all the band stickers there and everything that you just can't get rid of. You know, it's hard to say how I'd feel if CBGB's really closes. Uh, it would be a big gap in my life. Uh, but nowadays, you know, as you get older, things change, and there are a lot of gaps. I, I miss a lot of friends, and CBGB's is a good friend. CBGB is the last stand. You know what I'm saying? And they want them out. And it's not going to happen if I get my way. <laughs>